Hey there, job seekers. This is Olivia with ISGF, and this is another episode of the Job Seekers Secret Sauce. In today's episode, I wanted to take a minute to talk about a little trick that hiring managers and recruiters use to determine how detail-oriented you are without you even knowing it. What's that, you ask? Well, often we find that overly excited job seekers tend to be quick on the draw to update their resumes with the most recent position. However, often it's the case that they fail to re-review their previous positions and roles. The tell-all sign is tense, as in past tense or present tense. You see, when you're currently performing duties of a role, your description of those duties should always be in present tense. That's to say then that all of your previous jobs prior to your current roles should be represented in past tense. Let me give you an example. Let's say in your last role you were instrumental in a new software implementation that saved the company $2 million. Since this is a former position that you're no longer employed at, you might represent this as a success on your resume as a bulleted point implemented Sage software company-wide, resulting in cost savings of $2 million. Notice how the action item word, implemented, has been converted to the past tense. We often find that many job seekers don't take the time to review all former roles to ensure that the action item words have been converted to past tense, since they're not the current role. When hiring managers and recruiters alike see resumes that are in improper tense, they can quickly draw conclusions that may hinder your chances of getting the role. Think as a hiring manager. What could this say about you as a potential candidate? Well, it could indicate that you lack attention to detail. It could indicate that you lack proofreading skills or maybe even that you don't care enough about the role to even update your resume appropriately. Whatever the conclusion is, you never want to give the interviewer a reason to potentially rule you out. I hope you found this information helpful, but more importantly, take a quick moment to review your own resume to see if you're committing this potentially fatal error yourself. If so, let's get that fixed right away. Please remember to click the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and share your comments. I'm Olivia with ISGF, wishing you a great day, and we look forward to seeing you back here again soon.